Hi there. Many of my students complain of heel pain on and off. And then it is very difficult for them to walk, leave alone, do any standing poses. Uh, so I am trying to now first go to explain to you why this happens. And then we we'll move on to a video of poses which will help you relieve uh, this pain. Our foot is a complex structure made up of 26 bones and multiple ligaments, tendons and muscles. At the bottom is the plantar fascia which connects the metatarsals to the heel. Above the plantar fascia is a set of muscles that distributes our body weight across the foot. The heel bone is connected at the back of the leg by the Achilles tendon to the calf muscles. Now for some of us, the muscles above the plantar fascia weaken flattening our arch and this tends to elongate the plantar fascia and also load it with a body weight that is now no longer been, being transmitted to the metatarsals. More commonly, cardio activities like running or jogging tighten the calf muscles which pulls the Achilles tendon which in turn pulls at the heel bone. This also stresses the plantar fascia. Therefore, in order to address the heel pain, one must work on strengthening the muscles in the foot and also on stretching the calf muscles so that the entire system reaches a stress-free equilibrium. So hi, let's go on with the video for the pain in your heels and how to relieve it. So now, what to do when you have pain? So we made a short video. I suggest that you see the entire video because we are giving options for people who cannot sit like this, like my friend Anis. And I, we are sitting on the heels with the toes together. Okay, so try to bring the heels closer. They may not touch the spine. Extend your toes back and sit tall. Close your eyes. I'm also giving an option for those who just cannot sit on the heels. First of all, sit on a soft padding if your ankles are hurting. Then you can put another blanket on the heels and sit on that. Practice sitting like this few times on your bed and you will even do it. So one option is sitting on soft padding, extra height. Then putting a blanket on the heels. Then you can also put, you can also put a blanket between your knees, those who have knee issues. So then once you put that blanket, you take another padding and then you have a gap at your knees. You have a soft padding under the ankles and you are set to be there and set it down. Close your eyes. So we are going to say OM 10 times first in this pose. Turn your palms, join your thumb and pointer. Yeah, no, no.
take whatever padding you need. I have taken double padding under my ankle loads. Again, if you need support in your knees and your knees can go apart a little bit. You need your knee padding, people with knee issues, take that and just set it up. Take one more soft padding on your heels also if you want. Be there. You'll be there for a minute. Sitting, putting pressure on those 
heels. So these first three, four poses and the next one also we are doing are all going to help. This pose is also given for people who have this bone protruding at the thumb. Release the pose. It helps those people also. And now we are going to what we call Virasana. The first pose we call Vajrasana. Where we tell the name, where we say O. Now in Virasana, you are going to join your knees. Again, roll out the calf skin. And in Virasana, you have to sit down between your heels. So heels are completely outside the hips and toes are straight back. Earlier pose, the toes were going together. So here again, you roll out your calf, roll out the ankle. Press the metatarsals, extend your toes. So take good height for your ankles. I will show you also another way some of you can do it. And then stay there. You can take up height for the hips like he has taken. If you go down, then his knees are also dropping in. His knees have to roll so he needs a little height. When he sits on a height, this knee joint should face exactly front. Height should roll into out. Knee should roll into out. And then we call this Virasan. Hero pose. Close your eyes. Be there for a minute. Now another way to do this is, some of you still the ankles may be painful. Take two or three pillows or sit on the edge of your bed. So I am making a good height here. As if this is going to be the two pillows or an edge of the bed. Then you can comfortably sit where your ankles are literally hanging. Because you are not able to make them flat. This is too much. It's painful in the beginning. As you practice these poses, you will be able to do it. Then you hang your feet of more height. And then you take more height to sit over here. So you can just hang them off the bed. In fact, hanging would actually look like this. Not even touching the ground. Okay. So literally your toes are just very relaxed. So that's one option for those who cannot do. Slowly come out of the pose and release your legs in front of you. Take a break. And the next pose we are going to is called Arga Matsindrasana. Matsindrasana is Lord of the Fish. Anyways, this is half Matsindrasana. Where the back leg again you make horizontal. Literally like the earlier poses we did. It should be in line with your knee. And then put rolling. And then we put a little blanket to sit on it. So that gives you a nice support to sit on it. So sit back on this key. This is step one. So your bottom heel is pressurized, your toe is going across. Now bend your left knee, is sitting on the right heel. See that again you roll out your calf skin before sitting, that's a rule. See you have to do this few times, then you start understanding. And why these props are used. Knee should be exactly centered, not going here and there. Left foot is close to you. Hug your shin, hold your shin tight. At the shin, down, pull tight, lower. And then raise your chest up. You can even hold your elbows down at the shin and become tall and be there. Raise your body taller and taller and taller. So this is Ardha This is fine if you can do it in this way. Okay. Some of you might find it very challenging to even balance or bring that knee close. In that, uh, uh, in that, in that case, you, you do all whatever he has done. So my right knee holds back. I sit on the blanket and then again to bend your right knee also you can put a blanket here in the knee joint. So I would suggest bring small towel rolls. So you can put a towel roll. So every time a big blanket won't come in your way. Put one little towel roll there and a little roll even in this, this knee if you need to. Okay. Then sit tall by holding a chair, a table, your um, wall, corner, somewhere you have. So then you don't have to balance. Okay, so this is Arudha Matsindrasana. You are going to stay here for a minute. And yes, we are using props, but then that is going to especially help people with issues. A lot of times, these problems are going to occur as you age. Okay, and as you age, you cannot be so flexible or you cannot sit uh, like unnecessarily. You will need the help of props. Patiently practice these poses every day if you can, at least for a month. Here I'm giving you just a minute. 
bit in each side. jogging put a lot of pressure again on already the painful part. So if possible, I would suggest if you can change your cardio to cycling, swimming, walking in the water. Be a little gentle, your body needs it now. Till you are relieved of this pain. I know you want to cardio for the calories. Can we not change that cardio? So please try to do something like that to raise your legs now. And let go. So this was all to do with the foot, ankle, shin extension. Now the next few poses we are going to do is with the calf extension. Because you have the plantar fascia, which these muscles above the plantar and below the bones are also stressing it out. And you have the Achilles tendon which connects the calf to the steel bone. Okay, and again when this calf is tight, this heel bone gets pulled back and the plantar fascia are pulled and so the pain starts. So now poses lying down leg up on the wall for relieving that and extending the calf. So the next few poses I am showing you are standing. So I know if you have knee pain, maybe you may not be able to do these poses. Then we are also showing options lying down. But if you have knee pain, you can make a soft padding for your heels and see if this works for you. Very good poses to extend the calf. So this is going to take his palms on the wall wide, shoulder width and then he will walk back till he comes parallel to the ground with his body and his hands come in lower. So this is almost like a half down dog. You must have heard that down dog is a very good pose to extend right from the hips, hamstrings towards the calves, push up. So rather than go completely down to a down dog, those who know, you can feel free to do that also. This is a good option where you get a pushing action to move the thighs back and extend the calf towards the heels. Okay, so this is a very good uh, stretch to the calf. You have to lift the kneecaps up, squeeze the kneecap, hug the thigh muscle to the bone and lift the thigh upwards and spread and move the calf downwards. Now staying in this pose, I'm just going to ask you to lift your right foot up one foot at a time. Curling more and more and more and feel the stretch deepening and that's why taking a soft padding will help you do these poses and stay there for about 20-30 counts. Watch the angle of your thigh knee has to be in one line. And change. So your feet are apart, about hip distance, toes are lifted up, open the toes if you can, keep your knee, shin, centre of the foot in one line, observe, look, it's in front of you and 
raise the toes higher and higher and higher and push the ball, push your thighs back and then start exhaling, exhaling more and more till your tummy moves towards the spine, releasing your lower back and your hips moving towards the heels.
one. You just stay here for a minute. Okay, already half a minute. Then you add to this pose with further extension. You will use a dupatta or strap and you will literally leave the heel from the ball. So pull your toes down, push your calf muscle to the ball and leave it a millimeter. That's a start. That's going to extend your calf further, okay? So just a millimeter. This is good for the knee joint, okay? It opens up the knee joint. Knee joint collapse with age. Good for lower back. So many things in one pose. So practice this pose. Few more seconds, be there. Breathe. You can relax your hands down. So hold the strap long and pull the foot down. Move the calf to the wall and leave the knee just a millimeter from the wall. Squeeze the kneecap, feel that hugging muscle to the bone. This action you'll find much better here. Bring it down, close on. And then change. So you shift. Other side, so find a corner, wall, change your direction, whatever needs to be done, take a pillow or not, and leave the other leg. So, this is a supported pose, so it's good, you can stay longer. I would say stay in this pose for 2 3 minutes. A timer will come handy in doing your stretches. Now, again, watch the angle of the foot. This inner leg drops, so even this inner side is always tight for us. So this will give you good alignment and extension from the groin to the inner knee, inner knee to the inner ankle. Then take your belt and put it over the foot. And then again, feel, squeeze the kneecap up. Hug the thigh muscle, moves to the bone. Spread your calf skin and extend your calf upward. Calf moves, calf moves there, thigh moves down. This is exactly that happens even in standing poses. Even when you are standing and forward bending, calf moves downwards, spreading, thigh moves into the bone and upwards. Breathe, open the toes, don't let the inner arch drop. So rotate your foot slightly towards the little finger and make it heel out to it. Yes, and be there. So your calf is touching the wall, your heel is leaving the wall by just a thread to begin with. As you practice, Stay there. Stay there. Breathe 30 more seconds. And then you're going to release the last pose will be on the ball only. That's going to be your resting pose. Both legs will go on the ball. Take the support of the blanket below. Keep your belly handy. Initially, we'll do one more pulling action and then just rest. Both your legs on the wall, center yourself, the column, wall, cupboard, whatever you have. And then try to pull yourself forward. Of course, you only have ropes. You won't have to turn the Okay, so we show you a technique. Let's say you sit like this. Move the rope forward away. Mm -hmm. Sit like this. You take your legs up first. There's a lot of gap between the hips and the wall. You can use your hands and walk. You can use the shoulders okay. and walk. And then you straight up. And another one, sitting sideways. So he will sit sideways, literally his hip is up on the wall. Then just yeah, give it a try. And then slowly turn. Okay? Then if you want support, take support for the back. Then if you rest for your hamstrings are not too tight, then take a nice support for your neck. Put a towel over your eyes and this you're going to do for 5 minutes. Okay? So let's be there for 5 minutes. Before that, one more pull to the legs. And it's okay if you don't touch the wall. Your legs still are getting the relief. Your heels are getting the relief. The toxins get released. Very good poses to do for back issue, knee issue, your knee issues. And a good release to the legs when you're tired. So one more pull, toes facing downwards, organize your legs, feel that they are nice and parallel, squeeze the kneecap, spread your calf, push the calf back and see if you can release. Now knees away from the wall, so naturally this calf is not going to touch, that's fine. But just curl your toes and pull your heels forward and down, uh, up and toes down one more time. Stay there for a few seconds, maybe 10-15 calves. And then relax. Knees and legs up. Eyes closed, palms facing the ceiling, and you can be there by setting a timer for five 
minutes. So I leave the rest of the stretching, relaxing to you. Five minutes, last pose, resting. Then how to come out? Bend your knees to the chest. Turn to your right side. Be there for a second with your eyes open. And then you will slowly come up. Thank you for watching.